Hello, in this video I will go through the subdivide options in Blender to show you different ways to use it. I will use two examples, this cube here and this joint here, but let's start with the cube, tab into edit mode. You can find the subdivide option in the edge menu here and then subdivide. You also have subdivide edge ring, which uh, I'll go through in a moment, and unsubdivide. The first method to use the subdivide is to simply select the wall mesh by either using the edge selection mode or face selection mode, it doesn't matter. Then you can go here, edge, subdivide, or you can right click, subdivide. You can choose the number of cuts as well as the smoothness. So this is the usual method. You have uh, unsubdivide, which as the name implies will unsubdivide your uh, wall mesh or the parts you have selected because you can also subdivide only certain faces. For example, I want to subdivide this face here, so I will go into face selection mode, C for circle selection, and then I will select this wall face, right click, subdivide and I can choose the amount. We can see that here I have a lot of divisions, a lot of edges, but on the rest of the mesh it's very low poly. You can subdivide an edge ring. I will go into edge selection mode with the two key. Ctrl Alt left click to select the wall edge ring or I can select first edge, select, select loops, and then edge rings. I can then go to the edge menu, subdivide edge ring, and I can choose the amount of cuts. Here we have six new edges inside the edge ring. I can add vertices to an edge. I'll go into vertex selection mode with the one key. I will select all the vertices that forms this, this edge. Then I'll right click, subdivide, and as you can see, Blender started to add vertices. Now let's uh, jump to the more complex example, and I'll show you that even with complex meshes, it's uh, still possible to apply the same principles, set the viewport levels of the sub D modifier to zero so I can work better, and then I'll tab into edit mode. Here we have an edge ring, so I will select it, I will subdivide it. You can either right click and subdivide and it will add edges inside the edge ring or you can use the option subdivide edge ring, it uh, doesn't matter. We can of course add new vertices to the selection, so I will select these two, subdivide and we can add them to a face, so I will select for example this face, subdivide, and there we go. So that's how you use the subdivide options uh, in Blender. I hope you enjoyed this video, if that's the case leave a like to support the channel, subscribe to stay up to date with the latest contents, if you have any questions comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.